Hi, my name is James Blackman, editor with Enterprise IoT Insights and RCR Wireless. I'm joined today by Michael Shashny from International Carrier Services and IoT roaming provider BIX. Hi, Michael, thanks for joining me. Hi, James, Hi. great talking to you. Um, let's, let's talk about uh, how BIX sees the IoT market um, and, and more pre precisely the MBIoT part of the IoT market. Well, where are we up to today with MBIoT as the kind of, you know, the cellular play in the, in the massive IoT story, if you like? Yeah, so we see MBIoT as really a, a great enabler to accelerate IoT worldwide. So, I mean, uh, with, with this new technology, basically, I mean, you have great benefits like device using less power. They, uh, they can also be uh, smaller in terms of battery size and so on. And then opening the door really to have a, a brand new range of uh, connected devices uh, with, with uh, IoT uh, and NB-IoT in it. So really promising. And that's what basically uh, hardware manufacturer and OEM are looking for. So uh, I was uh, looking at uh, some recent figure and basically uh, we have about 3 billion M2M or uh, IoT devices around the world and only 10% of them are based on low power uh, technology. So we, with NB-IoT becoming, uh, let's say, more uh, generally available across the world, uh, we think that uh, it could double uh, in the overall IoT market uh, to perhaps 6 billion devices five years from now. And maybe a third of all those uh, devices will have NB-IoT or LTM uh, into it. Okay, but I mean, it's 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 we've been talking about this for a long time. Also, it's it's, it's it seems to look like it's taken perhaps a longer time to mature than we than we expected, perhaps, and 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 you know to even look like delivering on this kind of the IoT hype. Perhaps just talk around some of the challenges there have been and the obstacles which have you know held MBIoT back until now. Yeah, so I mean, as we said, MBIoT is having a lot of uh, great benefits, but it's a brand new technology, so. Uh, in order to really make use of it, well, you need to have coverage uh, everywhere in the world. And for that, uh, operator needs to upgrade their uh, network environment. They also need to sign new interconnect agreement. They need to do the testing, uh, do the commercial, uh, let's say, uh, agreement and so on. And this will take time. We, we've seen uh, in the past years and months a, a lot of great uh, advance, especially uh, in, in regions like Europe, uh, in Asia, in Americas. Uh, but I mean, th there is still a, a lot to be made to make sure that NB-IoT is available everywhere in the world uh, where uh, NB-IoT devices are connecting to. And this is really where BIX is uh, playing a big role. So we are discussing with every mobile operator on uh, opening up their, uh, their network access to make sure that OEM can, uh, can basically benefit from it when, uh, let's say, sending their devices in, in those places in the world. Okay. I mean, and it's not just coverage, right? I mean, there are other aspects to this as well in terms of the progress that is be being made. You know, just, just talk around what has changed besides, you know, the rollout of global coverage and how it's impacting the market, and if you can, what, what BIX is doing, because because I, 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 as I understand it, you are playing a, a key role here. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, what, what we are seeing on the market is basically that, I mean, NB-IoT modules are becoming cheaper and more, uh, let's say, widely available. So OEM are really now uh, making plans to, to include those NB-IoT modules into their devices. Uh, for instance, I mean, one of our partners um, uh, is, uh, is helping OEM to, to develop the new devices. Uh, this partner is Avnet, and about two thirds of their customers are asking them for NB IoT connectivity. So, I mean, on, on, on our side, we are working uh, with those OEM uh, to do the testing. Uh, to make sure that the NP IoT devices are compatible with the connectivity that mobile operators are providing. That's on, on one side. And on the other side, we are also uh, doing the necessary uh, technical work, the signing the commercial agreement with all the mobile operators to make sure that 
the, 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 let's say the widest uh, international coverage is, uh, is made available. So it's a, it's a lot of effort and uh, we did it uh, already, I mean, a long time ago on 2G, 3G and 4G that you can now enjoy anywhere in the world. And we are going through the very same road for NB-IoT to ultimately provide uh, this footprint in more than, for instance, 700 networks in 200 countries uh, at some point of time. So really, I mean, BIX is aiming to provide the largest NB-IoT footprint in the world. And I mean, we are really making progress every day on that. Uh, and Michael, what about away from the from the technical part, if you like, because it, it, see, it strikes me that a lot of the good work that BIX has done is around actually the billing process and how to to uh, you know how enterprises can make sense of uh, the cost of IoT. You talk around that and, and, and give me a sense of what you're doing there. Yeah, it's a very good point, James. Actually, I mean, every operator is having his own view on how to charge for NB-IoT access in their network. And some are looking to charge a, a fixed fee, some uh, uh, also a, a fee depending on, on the usage, either uh, on a monthly basis or on a yearly basis. So it's very diverse. And what BIX is really aiming to is to provide a simple value proposition to the hardware manufacturer where they can have one price for their devices everywhere in the world. So this is really the, the role we are playing in trying to adapt the different commercial model of each individual mobile network to the need of the OEM acting as really a, a facilitator and uh, uh, somehow simplifying the whole commercial environment, which can become extremely complex. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. My Michael, thanks for that. Thanks for your time today. And thanks for your, for your, your insight. And, uh, you know, and I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks, James. It was really nice talking to you.